Doctor, I've got this rash. I don't know if it's shingles, an insect bite, or could it be something else? So let's talk about how do I know I've got shingles? Shingles is caused by the varicella zoster virus known as the VZV, which is the same virus that causes chickenpox. What happens is, as you know, when you have chickenpox, you get all these rashes over the body. These rashes disappear over time, but the virus stays within the body. It remains dormant, as in it falls asleep, and then settles within the root nerves, otherwise known as the dorsal ganglion. So they can stay dormant for many years undisturbed until maybe you're feeling stressed, you're ill, your immune system is run down, or you do have a compromised immune system. For example, you might be on a treatment such as chemotherapy, or you're taking several medications that might compromise your immune system. So what happens? The virus gets reactivated. So therefore, you cannot have shingles if you do not have a history of chickenpox. If you're not sure if you've had a history of chickenpox, you can easily go to your doctor, do a blood test, and look for antibodies to the varicella zoster virus. If you have antibodies to the virus or the virus, that tells you that you must have had chickenpox in the past, ever as a child, without remembering that you had chickenpox. So remember, you cannot have shingles if you do not have a history of chickenpox. Also, when the virus gets reactivated, the first symptom you will feel is pain. Pain usually precedes the rash, and that's the clue to shingles. So the pain starts in a specific location. Usually, the most common area could be around the back, you know, around the breast or the rib area. You might also have it on the face or on the forehead. And usually it's unilateral, usually appears on one side of the body. So you get this pain or you might get this burning, tingling sensation. Then two to three days later, the rash appears. Now the rash can be a red rash and they come up in little crops of blisters. They're usually together like clusters, crops of blisters, water-filled vesicles, and again, the burning, tingling sort of sensation. And again, they're in the same region as where you had the pain. It might be the forehead, could be around the cheeks, could be you know around the back, around the chest. They can be slightly itchy as well. And if you're severely compromised, sometimes you notice that the rash now starts to spread. The pain becomes more severe. And two to three days later, the vesicles then erupt and they begin to crust. But in certain cases, you might still see vesicles appearing within a seven day period. So if you have shingles, pain, then a rash, tingling, burning sensation. Now, I hope you understood this video. Please feel free to share, like, and subscribe.